All right, this is Lance, and I came to the realization that recently I had not thoroughly covered Google Forms quizzes in a previous post. In fact, I don't even know that when I first posted about Google Forms quizzes that it was available, and it kind of slipped my mind. And so I had a teacher ask me about, how do you deal with the open responses? And I said, well, it's built right into the new version of Google Forms quizzes. And I realized that my video did not cover that. So I need to make sure that I backtrack a little bit and get this covered. So this is, video is not necessarily about how to create a Google form or create a quiz, but more about how to grade it. So I'm going to kind of fly through this. I created a couple questions here. Um, actually, I just did a question and then a reflection space because I think that's where it really comes into play as far as you actually grading it. Okay, so I have... A short answer here, you can do multiple choice. I made it required, and then this one I left as a paragraph, but short answer really isn't any different. I'm gonna leave that one as required as well. Uh, so I have those two settings. Something else I'm gonna add though, and I think this is important, uh, just letting students know where they stand. Um, I created a little rubric on open responses or explanation of problems. So I'll just call this rubric. Forgot to add this in before I, I made my video here. And I'm just going to add it right here to the top for their open responses so that they can see it. And then I need to go ahead and set this as a quiz. Uh, I want to collect their email address. This is very handy. Make sure you do that. Make sure you keep it within your school district. And then you can choose whether or not you want to limit it to one response. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to set it as quizzes. If you don't care if students see the responses, then you could leave response receipts. They'd get an email with what they put in. And that's okay too. I'm going to go ahead and hit the quizzes button, make quiz, uh, and you can set it that it will release the grade immediately after each submission or la later after manual review. So I'm going to go ahead and do later after manual review. And you have to decide if you want them to see the missed questions, the correct answers, or the point values. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and leave the correct answer off there because I want them to be able to go back and revise if they need to. Okay, so I made this as a quiz. And now the next thing I need to do is I need to set my answer key. And the answer for this one would just be one point. And then I guess I needed to make it multiple choice so it would automatically grade this, but that's okay. I'll go ahead and leave it as is. And then I'm going to set this one as three points because they can get three points on the rubric, like so. And then I'm ready to have students submit to it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit a preview window here so you can see what it would look like for that user. And so they'd give their answer. And you'd say six. Then you'd go ahead and have them give the response. the student will then respond and hit submit. Now what the teacher needs to do is they need to go into the responses and then they'll need to go to the individual responses. Here's where they can see all kinds of data as far as how students responded. When they go to the individual, they can click through and see who responded uh, and flip through them very quickly. This is why I recommend having their email address collected because if their email address is collected, then you are able to see the entire list and pick which one you wanna see or you're able to just click through and you can see their response name up here the whole time. You don't have to have a name box, then it automatically does it. So then for you to grade it for these responses, since I did not make this multiple choice, you would just have to say how much it's worth like so. And then if you wanna add individual feedback on this, you could, you can add additional resources using the link button here. So if I wanted to add a resource that would help add it, you can add links to those resources like so, okay? And then I need to grade this one and I'll go ahead and give three. You can also use the arrow buttons if you want. And you can add individual feedback to that one as well. You don't have to. It'll say edits are pending. When you're done, you can save it. When you get to the top, this is where you can release the score. 
and when you release the score, it will email that student, like so. And then when they check their email, they should have a result of their score. So when you get there, you can see your score has been released for the quiz and you can view it. So you can see which ones you got correct and any individual feedback. And the fact that you can add a link here is fantastic because that allows you to customize exactly what type of instruction they need. It could be a link to a video or a help guide of some sort. And when they click on it, it takes them right to it. Okay, so that's a little bit about the feedback and grading of open responses within Google Forms.